The first step in making fruit-flavored yogurt is to inspect the fruit. Workers discard any skin or pits that slip through and any pieces that are discolored or bruised. The fruit doesn't go into the yogurt as is. First, they turn it into jam. To give that jam just the right texture and taste, they have to weigh all the ingredients carefully before pouring them in the mixer. The first ingredient is water, followed by artificial and natural flavoring, and stabilizers to give the jam an even consistency. Certain types of fruit aren't colorful enough on their own, so the factory adds artificial coloring. Next come two types of sugar, fructose and sucrose. The mixer heats everything to 60 degrees Celsius to help dissolve the dry ingredients. The machine pumps out and refeeds the mixture so that it blends evenly. Then more coloring, followed by the fruit, followed by another hour or so of heating and mixing. Then they heat the jam at a minimum of 80 degrees Celsius for another hour to kill off any harmful bacteria. To prepare the yogurt, they mix different powdered milk products with milk and cream. For low-fat yogurts, they use fat-free milk and skip the cream. Once they've blended the ingredients, they heat them to 80 degrees Celsius or higher for just half a minute. That's all the time that's needed to pasteurize the mixture. But while it's now bacteria-free, there's another problem. Milk and cream naturally separate because cream is lighter due to its fat content. So on to the next step, homogenization, blending the milk and cream together. The homogenizer's pistons crush the fat globules. This enables the two liquids to merge. The mixture then goes into fermentation tanks heated to 45 degrees Celsius. Workers pour in a packet of live bacteria bought from a factory that breeds bacterial cultures for the dairy industry. Fermentation takes 6 to 20 hours, depending on the style of yogurt. The factory manufactures the yogurt containers right on the packaging line, using plastic sheets and paper labels. The machine heats the plastic and molds it into containers. A split second later, it wraps the containers in paper labels. You can view that dual operation best from underneath the machinery. Now they fill the containers with a combination of yogurt and fruit jam. To protect the yogurt from contamination, the air in this part of the machine is strictly controlled and filtered. The bacteria in the yogurt is what's known as good bacteria, the type naturally present in our intestines. They produce a compound called acetaldehyde. That's what gives yogurt its distinctive flavor. Those red dots are electronic sensors that verify the fill level. The container covers are made of thin but strong aluminum. First, the sheet of covers passes upside down over a printer, which stamps on the expiry date. Unopened, this yogurt will stay fresh for more than 40 days. Then, the sheet of covers turns right side up to be heat sealed onto the containers. Finally, the machine automatically divides the containers according to whatever pack format the factory's producing.